Welcome to SRPG Plus. Today we got Kappa Kai. Diesel D. And we're just going to give you another episode of the SRPG News. Uh, today, um, March 11th, NIS America had a presentation for 2019, their yearly presentation, and they showed off a few things for the Switch. Some of it we already knew was coming, and some localizations, just minor stuff like that. Nothing too big. Where's this guy is 6? Where's this guy at D2? No printy 3? Come on, man. Come on, dude. Um, so they showed off a little more of Destiny Connect. Showed what comes with the physical, like these kind of like collectible cogs things. Kind of goes with the whole setting of the game. Um, had a little trailer for RPG Maker MV. So if you're into those build your own games, download someone else's games type uh, type of environment, that's really uh, that, that'll be a really good pickup for you. And... They also sh just talked about things like Caligula Effect, which is coming out Tuesday, this week of March 11th, and then The Princess Guide coming out March 19th, and La Peace Cross Labyrinth, which is coming out late May. So just a bunch of weeaboo stuff from NIS, so what else would you expect? Another thing that's going on right now is today we have an announcement for the 15th anniversary of Monster Hunter. So March is going to be a whole Monster Hunter month. There's a lot of a uh, buzz about just Capcom in general. They're probably going to do either like some event or like some community thing to help support just the fans of the game. Um, they may show something new. I personally don't think it's going to be a new game, like a new Monster Hunter game like Generations or World was, but maybe something along the lines of Monster Hunter Stories or I... something along the line of like a mobile game. Oh, you know, no. You never know, you man. You never know, though. Monster Hunter already has a mobile game in Japan, so you never know when it comes to stuff like that, as well as it could just be community-based stuff. Maybe there's like a convention they're going to do. Um, it definitely shows a new monster just for the teaser itself. Um, the... The eyeball and just the monster that it shows, it's, it could be a lot of different things. It's probably going to be some sort of Elder Dragon. I think that it definitely does look like almost like the Nergigante or like the Fatalis. Just any sort of dragon-based monster. It's hard to tell. Everyone's got scaly skin in that game. What's that dire one? Well, when it comes to, like, they came out with a video, like a teaser video of different clips of monsters in Monster Hunter. Like, they're reveals or just like animations of them the last one that they showed it it was a little like cinematic it like cut to black and then it goes back into the picture it shows the dire morales from monster hunter 3u which if if something if i wanted anything to happen i would want to fight the dire morales again in a newer game the thing about the dire morales fight is that he does sit in water so in 3U, you can actually, or in tri, tri in general, you can swim, so you can actually fight him underwater. He's like half submerged in the water, half not, so you spend half of the time in the water, and then he goes outside of the water. So if they were to add water mechanics to either world or generations, I think it'd be really insane to see something like that. That'd be major. If he was put in the game, I could also see them not adding water mechanics and just putting him on the ground. Like yeah. on the Gaia Chris, you know, stuff like that. But it'd be cool to see them add, you know, a whole new feature to either World or Generations and, you know, keep that game going, but, you know, show some service to it. Because there's a lot of service for Monster Hunter World, and we have a lot of content in Monster Hunter Generations, so we really don't need that. But if we were to get something like that, I bet a lot of new people would join in. I agree totally, and I'm really looking forward to what they announce. Um, whatever they do, hey, if it's more content for games we already own or potentially a new game. I'm really excited as a new Monster Hunter fan. And now, um, I don't know why, but recently it's been a trend in the gaming community to keep making movies and to also announce them all at the same time. We got the Pokemon Detective Pikachu, the Pokemon movie, but that's a regular standard movie. We got Sonic, and now we got Doom Annihilation. Um, a teaser trailer just came out. Uh, we Call It Hell is what the trailers like subtitled and it was really disappointing for a lot of people um weebs had their traditional backlash whenever there's a female in anything gaming they kind of freak out like they don't have moms or sisters kind of don't understand that mentality but i do kind of understand why someone would be like wait if it's always been the doom guy why is a female the lead in my opinion i don't care the movie kind of looks trash regardless the special effects look really poor kind of looked like a budget sci-fi movie and 
And then, like, the props look mediocre, like something you'd find in a high school, produ- like, production, like one of the guns the, the military dudes was holding in one still where it was really dark. It literally looks like they just taped, like, a glue bottle to the end of a gun, thinking it would look badass. But, yeah, Doom Annihilation kind of has really bad reception. The video itself got downvoted a lot on YouTube. Um, so, yeah, more mediocre gaming movies on the way. Diesel D, what do you think? Man, I don't care. I'm sick. I'm <laughs> sick. Of, I'm sick of covering these game movies, man. I don't think they should happen. I think if they really want to put effort into it, they should make a movie about a game that has a good story, instead of taking a game that has no story and trying to place a story in it. I believe that if they tried and if they put effort into a movie, you know, there's like, there's iconic lore behind multiple series. Is like if they made a Mario movie or a Zelda movie. Or even, like, you know, a Resident Evil movie that's not bad. Like, <laughs> like there's so many... The, the funny thing is, all of those series have animations or movies that are trash. Exactly. And it's... The stories are good. Like, there may not be a lot of dialogue behind it, but people can write to anything. And if it's a, if it's a basic, like, hero trope movie about a villain who, like takes over and then does some shisty sit and takes over even more or like something where you help the villain like it's a fucking anime it's a movie like people make that stuff all the time i i think that it's just a waste of my time to think about these movies especially when they're live action if they're animated if they're 3d whatever like that, okay that's yeah, fine yeah i thanks. can i can understand and i can enjoy something like that like the persona movies i like those movies okay but like when it comes to like live action movies by Jerry Springer. I think it's Smash Summit or something. That's the channel where you can get all the VODs of the recent tournament. It was really hype, and you should check it out. But uh, this was SRPG Plus, your boy Kappa Kai. Diesel D. And thanks for checking out another uh, video. Uh, peace out. Mm-hmm.